today I'm going to do one of my specialities where my kids like it because they say it comes up tender. It's liver and onions. So I, for the ones who like liver, enjoy and the ones that don't, please try it and then you'll start liking it. Okay? There's a little problem with liver and that's handling it and cleaning it. I don't mind handling it, so I'll show you what I do. If you don't like handling it, you can use your scissors to cut these things out that I'm talking about. And some people, I use the scissors to cut it out. These are little, um, what should I call it? They're, they form holes in the liver and it has a thick skin around the holes. And I use the scissors to cut it out. Some people leave it because they think it's too much trouble and then while they're eating then they cut it away because it's rubbery if you if if you try to chew it angie if you could see there's the hole i'm talking about that has a very thick membrane around it that comes up quite tough and rubbery after it's cooked the other thing is it, some pieces will have a gray, you'll notice a gray membrane. Not all the pieces, but there's a gray membrane on, and then you pinch the end of it and just peel it off like that. That's very easy. Angela, I'm gonna give it a little rinse and then dry it off with paper towel, then I'll add the salt and the pepper. You don't want to have too much water in the frying pan, and so the water will start popping and splashing. I'm going to put my salt and pepper on, black pepper. I put a half a teaspoon of black pepper and, um, and you might want to chop up a half a teaspoon of scotch bonnet pepper and mix in with it. But what I do is put some pepper sauce after I put it in the frying pan. Now the, fr the oil must be very hot because this is a quick cook. I think that the oil is hot enough now. I'm just going to try testing it with a piece. Put a flat piece like that. There we go. So the whole point of liver is a lot of people make it and they don't like it because it's rubbery. It's yeah. Hot. Yeah. So what I do, as soon as I get them all in the pan, I flip them over. And I'm going to add some thyme. I'm using dry thyme. Just use whatever. If you're using a sprig of thyme, you just put it in there. And I'm going to add my onion. No honey about. I'm going to add a little pepper sauce. About, I think about a teaspoon. I'm also going to add some steak sauce. Okay. A teaspoon of this is good as well. This can be for lunch, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. For breakfast, you can have it with boiled bananas, fried dumpling, and fried plantain. For lunch, you can have it with boiled bananas again, yam, boiled yam, or sweet potato and some steamed chopped cabbage. Now I'm just turning it around for the onions to get tender. And I'm going to put a few teaspoons of um, 
I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of, of hot water to make this sauce. Done, but I want to make sure it's cooked through, so I'm going to cover it for about two minutes. And then I'll test it to make sure it's cooked through. So it will steam a little bit. And then I'm going to turn the burner off, because it should be ready now. I'm going to take a piece out, try to, to make sure it's cooked through. And it is. And it is. All ready. The trick to keeping liver tender is to cook it quick and fast and not like you're cooking beef Jamaican style, cooking it forever. You have to cook it fast, you turn it you do one side, you flick it over, you put the onions and all the things, the other stuff on it, and the onion, and you keep turning it, moving it around in the frying pan. And when all of that is done, you turn, I'm using an electric stove, so I turn it off and I leave it on there that whatever heat is left on the burner will continue to cook if there are the pieces that are not cooked through. If you're using gas, then you turn it down to as low as possible for another five minutes or so. Here you are, phase liver and onion, all done. Looking nice, delicious, ready to eat. Like I said, you can have it for either breakfast, lunch or dinner, with whichever sides you prefer. And you know your Jamaican sides. I don't have to tell you again. So enjoy, go to cooklikeajamaican.com and enjoy and let, uh, let us know. So bye for now. <laughs> okay, that's, that's going in the other direction. That's a little over the top now. Have you subscribed to our YouTube um, channel yet? If not, just press the button below and subscribe and you'll get more of our delicious recipes. So do that and you'll be happy like I'm happy at the moment cooking for you all. Bye for now.